multiplying and dividing with positives and negatives. The rule is negative 3 times 4. Multiply like you learned in third and fourth grade. 3 times 4 is 12. That's the easy part. And then the other easy part is, is it positive or is it negative? So when we have two numbers, if there's only one negative, the answer would be negative. If they're both negative, the answer would be positive. And the trick for always remembering when you're dealing with two numbers is, you draw a triangle. Now remember, this only works with multiply and divide. And you put a minus, a minus, and a plus. Always that, okay? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the first sign excuse me, the first number. The first term is negative three, it's negative. So that means you'd get rid of one of the negatives. The second term is positive, so you'd get rid of the positive. And whatever's left is always gonna be your answer. So my answer is gonna be negative 12. Give you another example of that would be negative two times negative five. Two times five is 10. Now we decide, is it positive? Or is it negative for an answer? So the first number is a negative. The second number is a negative. So all that's left is a positive. So my answer is positive 10. If I had three numbers, negative 6 times 1, I better not use 1. Let's say 3 times negative 2. Now the difference about this is now I have three terms, so I can't use the triangle in the same way, but I still can. Multiplication doesn't matter what order you do it in, but let's just say I cover this one up for right now. Now I could use the triangle, because there's only two. Negative, negative, positive. Six times three is 18. The first one is a negative. The second one is a positive, so I know it's gonna be negative 18. Now. I could take and I could cover up that since I used it all up and now it's just asking me what's negative 18 times negative two. So again, I can use the triangle because I have it just two, uh, two terms, negative, negative, positive. This says negative 18, this says negative two. So I'm left with positive two times 18 is 36 and it's positive. So that would be the answer. Negative six times three times negative two is positive 36. One more trick for knowing if it's positive or if it's negative. If there are two, four, six, eight, 10, and so on numbers involved, then the answer, uh, negatives involved, excuse me, then the answer will always be a positive. Up here, there was one, three, five, seven, nine, or those are called odd numbers. If there's an odd amount of negatives, then that answer will always be, let me write this in a different color so you can see, negative. So one negative, the answer will always be a negative. Two negatives, it would be a positive. Two negatives would be a positive. If I switch this to a negative, this would become negative 36. So if you just count how many negatives there are once you're done multiplying, then you'll know if there's four negatives involved, the answer will be a positive. If there's seven negatives involved, the answer would be negative. You just multiply like normal. And now the same could be done for dividing. For division, let me switch boards here. We can still use the triangle rule. We can do everything the same, just instead of multiplying, we're dividing. So 14 divided by negative seven. So we just do normal, 14 divided by seven is two. And then if we use our triangle, that one's positive, that one's negative. So it's gonna be a negative answer. We had one negative on here. It's hard to see. One negative on here means we're gonna have a negative answer. If I had three negatives, it'd be a negative answer. If I had five negatives, it'd be a negative answer. So on and so on. Odd amounts are negative. Odd is negative. Okay? And then if I said negative 15 divided by negative 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 
The first one is a negative, the second one is a positive, so negative, negative, my answer would be positive.